They drew first blood. And I'm gonna draw the last. What's up everybody, it's me, Linda Man. Welcome back to the new studio. And uh, what today, uh, <clears throat> you guys might know Caleb. Well, he is watching the Rambo movies and I'm a huge fan of Rambo. I mean, look at my YouTube channel from 2020. I love Rambo. And well, since he was watching it, I rewatched a couple films and I thought, well, why not do a movie review? So, this video we're going to be doing a movie review and sort of a knife review. Eh? So basically what we have here, it's it's kind of like a Rambo knife. It's not real, it's not a Rambo knife. Um. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Oh god, I'm so sorry! Please! It's not my knife, I swear! Uh, whoa, 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 wait, 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 real, real quick, uh, Leland from the future, um, I, I'm not hurt in this video, I'm a trained professional. I'm a trained professional, okay? So basically what that we're going to do, is I'm just going to show you guys this knife, again, it is not a Rambo knife. So it comes in this, this nice case right here, and right here, here it is, this knife is very 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 sharp uh this looks like a rambo knife it looks just like a rambo knife it's very shiny and it's sharp and well not only you know you can you can hold it in different ways as you can see this way or, or do this way you know it basically not there's like two positions inside this little capsule right here you can open it and inside let's see what we got in here yeah, the screws open out here. Ah! Well, there was some stuff inside. There's a fire starter kit. Here we have a, a compass. We have a compass, and it does work. Um, we have a compass, we have the knife. I don't know if that you guys can see in there, but there is like cotton and uh, there's a mat. Ah, there's like all kinds of things in here. You guys, this map, this map, this knife is gnarly. It's awesome, and it's sharp. Very cool, but it looks just like a Rambo knife. Very, very cool. Sorry about that. Um, very cool knife. It comes with compass, and fire thing, and map, and all that stuff. So, not only uh, does it come with all that stuff, but, uh... Nice, nice color, nice color, <clears throat> nice. And uh, it comes with its own case. So this thing could easily cut up a squirrel. Uh, I can cut your hand. Uh, I don't, I don't know if it, could, it could, if I could saw. I bet I could saw off my hand, but you know, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to think about that too much. I don't really want to try it either. Very, very shiny. Very cool. So we're gonna put it back in this case. We're gonna remove. Uh, Blah, blah, blah. We're gonna review this film again. I've had this knife since I was like young. I know what I'm doing. Uh, and here's the case it comes in. Here's the strap. This will pull the strap over there. And carry it on you. And then and here's the strap. I can have it to my side. And then pull it out. Stick it back in. Boom. Very cool knife. I love this knife. Again, I'm not dangerous with it. I'm actually responsible. Okay? And I'm a vey, like, like... Don't block me or ban me! Okay, so Rambo First Blood. Um, Rambo First Blood is a... When, when did it come out? Uh, Rambo uh, First Blood. Well, it's not even called Rambo. It's just called First Blood. It is a... Uh, 1982 film, and it's about a man named John J. Rambo, and he's he's a vet, he's an old uh, he's a soldier. Well, he's not an active member of the military, but he uh, he just wants peace, and he goes to uh, Hope. I think what is something Hope something a uh, small town in Washington in search of an old friend, but is met with intolerance and brutality of the local police, the local sheriff. He's a jerk. Basically, he's trying to go and find an old friend, but it turns out his old friend had cancer and died. And, uh, well, he's just trying to 
on his way back out of the town. It's called Hope, and uh, it's a small town in Washington. Very beautiful climate. It's around Christmas time. There's this jerk uh, sheriff that pulls him over, and uh, for no reason. And the cop's just a jerk, and uh, the cop just is bored, and he feels like he wants to really. They want somebody to have a bad day. So, uh, he just pushes a Rambo a little too far, and, uh, well, John, J. Rambo, Johnny! It's over, Johnny. That's all it takes is one bad day. And, uh, so what he does is it leads to a whole chase for just one man. I mean, they get the National Guard. They get, uh, I mean, literally, they have, like, military equipment for this one man. They have rocket launchers and crap. It's crazy. For one dude. John, the, his old lieutenant, I forget, Colonel something, Trutman, Sam Trutman, I think, Sam Trutman. So it would be uh, Colonel Trutman, am I saying that right? Well, yeah, he comes back to help John, and, uh, well, he does help him, but uh, John uh, goes on this whole beautiful, like, sad speech that, uh, not a speech, but it's sort of, you can tell it's really from his heart. It's sad what John has to say about his friend, and, uh, I mean, here's the clip. We went to this bar and said, guy, and this kid comes up, this kid carrying a shoe shine box, and he says, uh, shine, please, shine. I said, no, and he kept asking, yeah, and Joey said, yeah, and I went to get a couple of beers, and the, the box is wired, and he opened up the box, Fucking blew his body all over the place. And he's laying there and he's fucking screaming. There's pieces of him all over me. Just like, like this. And I'm trying to pull him off, you know. And it's my friend that's all over me. He's got blood and everything. And I'm trying to hold him together. I put him together. His fucking head chains keep coming out. And nobody would help. Nobody would help. And he's saying, Please, I want to go home. I want to go home. He keeps calling my name. I want to go home, Johnny. I want to drive my Chevy. I said, Well, what? I can't find your fucking I can't find your legs. I can't get out of my head. I do this seven years. Every day it happens. And sometimes I wake up and I don't know where I am. I don't talk to anybody. Sometimes a day. Last week. I can't put it out of my mind. So you can see that very sad, and all John wants is just peace. So ah, um, that's one of the best parts in the entire movie is that right there. I don't think you understand. I didn't come here to rescue Rambo from you. I came here to rescue you from him. Really good movie. Really good movie. The one man. I never understood, but I mean, as I'm uh, maturing. As I'm becoming a Sigma male, I understand why. Because he's John J. Rambo. Dangerous man, very dangerous. He knows how to hunt. Uh, you will be hunted. <laughs> You're not hunting him, he's hunting you. Just leave him alone, that's basically it. And throughout all of these movies, which yes, I am going to be reviewing all five Rambo movies. All of these movies, they draw first blood, they want to mess with him. That's something that I said in my old videos. He just wants to be left alone. Nobody can ever leave him alone. Listen here, if there's one thing that you're gonna, that you do not wanna do, it's do not mess with anything of Rambo's or Rambo's friend. Just like in Rambo 3, you know what happened? You know Rambo 3? They drew first blood, he didn't. And as he said in Rambo last blood, they drew first blood and I'm gonna draw the last. And uh, well, that's a movie uh, review on its own. So until then, if you guys enjoyed this review, this movie review, and you want me to do more, have a good day, and I'll see you guys later. I didn't make any sense. Have a good day. That still does it. Uh, these are normally the bloopers that I cut out. Future Leland, you editing this video? You cut this all out, okay? Oh, Lord. Like, people act like there's no mistakes on my videos. So if you guys want to see more, uh, if you guys want to see more of uh, 
movie reviews because I'm going to be reviewing all uh, Rambo movies. But if you guys want to see more movie reviews, comment down below if it's disabled. I don't know. And uh, have a good day. Just in case you're wondering what have a lead day means, it means have a happily day. Have a lead day. I don't know. It's just something that I created whenever I was like eight and I just stuck with it. So, have a lead day. And I'll see you guys later. Remember, you see a guy named John J. Rambo? Leave him alone. If not, he'll draw first blood. Ah, ah, ah.